Ahoy there, mateys! Today we are going to learn how to pack Pirate Gulliver, also known as Pirate Gullivar. So go ahead and hit that like button if you're excited to get all of these wonderful new pirate items. Now, along with Pirate Gulliver and the diving update, NPC spawns were also updated. Now, Leaf Sahara and Kicks are not guaranteed to make an appearance on your island each week, which leaves you with room to get a diverse array of NPCs visiting you each week. And this is great news because you're more likely to run into those NPCs that have sort of evaded you this entire time. And luckily, if you do not see the NPC that you wanted, you have the opportunity to see them that following week because the number one rule for which NPCs spawn that week is based off of who didn't spawn the previous week. So if you didn't see Gullivar when the update first came out, you're probably going to be seeing him shortly. Now, the only requirement for getting Pirate Gulliver to spawn is owning a wetsuit. So if you somehow don't have one at this point, go ahead and pick one up from Nook's Cranny. Now that we have that all out of the way, let's discuss what we're trying to do here. So there were 19 new pirate themed items added to the game with the release of Pirate Gulliver, which include a pirate barrel, a pirate ship cannon, a pirate ship helm, pirate ship treasure chest, pirate wall, pirate flooring, and a pirate rug, a sideways pirate barrel, three variations of the captain's coat, the pirate dress, the pirate outfit, and the pirate bandana, along with some pirate pants and a pirate treasure robe. You can get a pirate treasure crown, pirate's hat, a pirate's beard, a pirate eye patch, and pirate boots. And you can only obtain these items by helping Pirate Gulliver out. He'll let you know that he's lost his communicator in the ocean once you run into him, and he needs you to dive it up for him. Once you do that, hand it over to him, and he'll let you know that he's sending you an item in the mail the next day. But why wait another two-ish weeks to see him again when you can get all of the items as quickly as possible? So once you see Pirate Gulliver on your island and you do the daily task for him, save the game and quit, or continue playing like usual for a bit, but once you're done, save and quit and go to the next day. Once you're there, go ahead and check your mailbox and get the item that Pirate Gulliver sent you. Once you open it, save and quit. You're going to travel backwards now one day to when he originally arrived, and then you're just going to repeat the process over and over and over again. And side note here, if you're seeing this video and he was on your island a couple of days ago, you might have to wait until he shows up again to actually do this method. If a while has passed in your game, you might actually lose the data for that date that he was there and it may just be a random new day. So this works best when you literally have just found him and not much in-game time has passed. All right, so now that you're back to the original date that he spawned, go ahead and check your beach for him. He may not be in the exact same spot he was last time, but he will be there and it will be as if you've never helped him. Go ahead and repeat the process of finding his communicator and once you're done, save and quit, go to the next day and get your prize from the mailbox. Now some tips here. It's definitely going to be helpful to write down the date that he arrived on your island just in case you put the game down or you get confused down the line. You do not want to mess that up. Next, and I don't know if this is genuinely an issue, but it was affecting me, but make sure that you have at least one empty spot in your pockets when doing this. I kept getting deep sea creatures instead of the communicator when I had full pockets. Next, if you can't or don't want to complete the entire set on the first encounter you run into them, don't worry about it. He's going to spawn again soon and you can continue to do this process later on. And finally, I haven't run into a duplicate as of yet with the items he's given me, but I also haven't completed the set. So I'm kind of hopeful that it will cycle through all the items you do not own before getting repeats here. But let me know down below if you've encountered any repeats while doing this. I'd love to get some more data on it. And that about does it for hacking Pirate Gulliver. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And subscribe for more Animal Crossing New Horizons content. As always, I appreciate the support and I will see you next time.